Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, we're back with the Jandy Stealth. Now, in the last video, we talked about unbolting the wet end from the seal housing. So now that we've unbolted the wet end by removing the bolts like I showed you in the earlier videos, you just want to disconnect those bad boys. All right, remove them out of the way. Then you can remove this whole wet end, which I'm going to do. Now, here is your diffuser ring. Do not lose this. This comes off the front of your pump. Yeah, I'll leave that there for a second. So you can take a look at it. I'm just going to move this giant thing out of the way so we have a little bit more room to work here. All right. Now, once you do that, what you're left with is a diffuser ring just like that. Okay, so you want to put this thing out of the way as well. Okay, now what you have is your pump and your motor. All right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to want to remove your impeller. And the way you do that is by removing the cap off of the back of the motor here. Just like that, we've already removed it, and you'll see the shaft. Now, once you see that shaft just like that, you can take yourself a, a pair of channel locks and you can hold it flat on the flat spot if you have the right set of groove pliers. Or you can use an open end wrench, a pair of vice grips, something. You don't want it to strip. Whatever you use, you don't want it to strip because you'll shift this out. So I'm just going to hold it there and I've already pre loosened my impeller a little. Now, before you pre loosen the impeller, I want you to remember one thing this is not like other typical pumps. In the center of this impeller, there is a screw. Okay, now I've already removed that screw and I've put all my parts in a bag. So you can do the same thing, that way you don't lose your part at home. Now this Phillips head screw is in the center of the impeller, just like that. So you want to remove that Phillips head screw, and then you'll be able to remove the impeller. Don't, like, try to remove that impeller when, you know, you have that screw there, it'll never come out. Okay, so now using a pair of channel locks, you can just hold the back of this just like this, and you want to use, just unspin this impeller. Now remember, I've pre-loosened my impeller, so it's going to come off easy. Don't freak out in the video comments or on the website and be like, hey, you know, dude, you made it look too easy. Of course, you don't want to watch me struggle for four hours, do you? All right, so there we go. Just going to remove this impeller just like this. And once you do so, you will see one part of the seal just like that, okay? And the second part of the seal is in there. All right, so remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Please subscribe to the videos using the subscribe button below. And make sure to come back and watch the rest of the videos when we show you how to remove the seal housing and how to change the seal. Thanks for watching. This is Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. Peace.